Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. It is Sunday, December 10th. I'm getting ready to go to church. I got the shower. And uh, I ain't doing no makeup because my skin been flaring up. So I put some cream and stuff on it. But I took my medicine, so. And I'm supposed to eat some with it, so I'm about to eat a little snack. It's, I need to do a time. 10.36, church started at 11. So, and let me put y'all onto my snack right here. So I like the spinach artichoke dip from Walmart. Oh, hey y'all, welcome to the vlog. My name is Shaquille. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Shaquille. I just said it, but over here we do life, Christ, and fashion. Today is Sunday, December the 10th, and we're gonna go to church in a minute. But I want to show y'all my snack. So. These croutons, normally they be bigger than these. But when I saw those, I was like, this perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, and I eat it with the dip that I, like I showed y'all. But I took my medicine and you supposed, it's, I've been taking all the time. I ain't know I supposed to eat with it. I just read the, um, <laughs> the bottle today for the first time. But who's the nurse? Oh. Y'all don't know what y'all be smelling. And it good in the microwave too, but I ain't got time to eat. And I see y'all when I feel like I'm getting ready for church. I forgot about y'all. I don't know how I'm going to show y'all my outfit anyway. The bra itchy. Let's see. It's from Cider. I just got on. It's a cardigan. It's a half shirt with the cardigan and it comes with these strawberry pants. I just made on high waisted because you know, you gotta wear a girdle. Pull it there. No cleavage at church. And I think it's cute. And I just got on these. And I'm putting on gold jewelry, but I guess I'll just come back and show y'all the whole outfit once I get everything on. All right, y'all, so I'm back from church. The message I got today was, Jesus gave up everything for, for God, so we have to do the same thing. If we wanna accept the job from God, it comes with giving up everything ourselves our what we think we want and it's based solely based on what god wants and i never did tell y'all why in the last world i don't celebrate christmas so here we go so originally christmas was not a christian holiday but they adopted it for jesus's birthday when jesus wasn't even born in december but that's besides the fact but i just feel like even if it is a holiday we're supposed to celebrate which i deeply feel that we don't don't mind it that's my stuff for my trip but i just feel that if it is the point has been taken away like if it's supposed to be for christ 
you put more fear, people put more fear in their kids and Santa Claus than they do with Christ. Like, you basically giving Santa Claus the authority that God's supposed to have over your child life. Like, you tell him, okay, you be bad and you don't do what your parents say and you out here misbehaving and you're not, you know, doing your schoolwork and all this stuff. You mean to people. You're not getting there for Christmas. you just going to be on the night list and you ain't getting there. Basically, and with God, like, if you don't put that fear in them, tell them, letting them know that, hey, if you out here doing all this and doing all that and not doing what you're supposed to do and not following Christ, you sending yourself somewhere you don't want to go. So basically, you giving your child the authority. I mean, you giving Santa Claus the authority that God's supposed to have. And I feel like people don't even put that much fear of God in their kids. Like, and I really feel like it's just mostly about buying all this stuff and all this stuff. So that's why I chose. Last year was the first year I didn't celebrate. And my grandma still put my name in the jar this year at church, even though they know I don't. And they pulled for me because I wasn't there. I ended up getting my auntie night anyway. And then a little later, they today they end up doing they Christmas gifts and stuff. And the little lady had got me a gift. But I, I didn't tell her I didn't want it. I just took it. And she got she got me some peppermint candy canes, some Kleenex, and she put thirty dollars in them. But yeah, this is why I personally don't celebrate Christmas because I really don't feel like it's for God, if that makes sense. But I was a big Christmas person until last year. But that's just my opinion. You know, everybody got their opinion. So I wasn't gonna start packing tonight. Cause I don't have all my clothes. Them mostly just swimming suits, shoes, and purses behind me. So the lady, I bought all my clothes to be, and the lady taking them up for me. Hopefully she be done tomorrow. But I must pack my makeup because I'm not about to use my makeup. I bought all travel stuff like toothbrush or toothpaste. So we about to pack that. And what else? Oh my perfume. I shouldn't have to wear perfume. And I'm going to put my face stuff in a bag and I'm just going to leave it on the bathroom counter and just use it out of there so I won't forget. Because I think we're leaving Thursday night and I don't want to forget nothing. And I can show y'all what I got this here. And then tomorrow if she had my stuff, I can show y'all what, you know, I'm putting in the bag tomorrow. But yeah. So let me go get my makeup from over there. And the perfumes I'm going to say. Oh, and I'm going to pack my jewelry tomorrow too because I ordered a jewelry case so yeah i will be right back i'm telling you that there ain't no other way pack your bags and then you will go away i'm not gonna be begging you to stay me yesterday i would handle this shit differently things are different i'm a new me that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen that's not that's not gonna happen so even if you're asking even even if you're asking cause i do what i do and it's time for something new Appreciate the 
Suitcase, but I just put the outfits together that go with what. Mm -hmm. I'm still debating on this one if I'm gonna wear it as an outfit or as a swimsuit cover up. But this is a swimsuit and a cover up. This is a dress, the two purse I've been shoes. This is a dress, and it's either gonna go with either of these purses and these same shoes. These are like lounge like the two pieces in a dress. So like, if I just don't feel like doing this, I can just throw that on under clothes. I didn't have space for these because I forgot it. But I was thinking this. Um, I use the kinetic tape for glue tape. Well, I haven't tried it, but I use it on my knees when my knees hurt, and it sticks so good. But like I get in the shower and it be hard to come off. So I'm assuming it works good for glue tape. Uh, I just put my lipsticks and my brushes that I didn't wash in here. Um, this is just like Lysol spray, facial tissue, uh, Fruberry, Pro Rock White Lip type stuff. I put my medicines in here that I take every day, so I ain't gotta take my bottles. Um, these are my perfumes. This was cushion. I took the cushion out of a pillow and washed it. So I put it in there so my perfumes won't hit together. Um, this is my face stuff, my makeup, and this is like soap, my body butter, lotion, um, razors and stuff like that. So yeah. Oh, and I got my robe, just some socks to walk around in. Underclothes, more swimsuit, more swimsuit. That's my airport outfit. I'm keeping those bags because I'm not sure if I'm going to put my clothes in those bags and then put them in my suitcase. To keep them together and then those are pieces to the outfits i had to take to the lady for her to fix for me so i'm not gonna put anything in the suitcase yet so i can um put everything in there at one time i hope it should be done tomorrow and i can uh put them in there tomorrow so just tonight i don't got nothing else to do tonight so but read for bible study so i might do my nails I don't know. I didn't show y'all. I went to Walmart when me and my mom was in Walmart in my last vlog. I um, got these. They had some good options. They have these. And these are Salon Perfect Modern Art Professional Nail Artistry. You got 20, 30 nails, a nail file, and a glue. But I don't, y'all know I don't use the glue. So. Then I found these. These are really cute. So I don't know which ones to do. And then I got these. Extended French. These are by Modern. I guess by the same person. Yeah, these two are by the same people. Wait, wait. These two are by the same brand, Modern. And this is the French nail set. A modern take on classic French manicure. The length is long, the shape is square, the color warm pink and a matte finish, but you know, I'm going to go some up. And these are by Lottie London. Kim, Kim nails, I'm assuming that's what they say. And they come with 30 false nails. And nails. 
So I don't know. Once I decide which ones I like on, then I'll be back. Maybe if we do them tonight. But I'm pretty sure y'all not gonna see me no more tonight. Oh, I had a word. Yeah. So, um, I had I was watching a podcast the other day and it was talking about um like God pouring into you, and you can't expect God to pour into a dirty cup. So think about it. Like, um, hold on. So just think about, okay, you go in the kitchen to get you something to drink, right? You ready, your juice good, you know it's good, you ready because you know it's going to refresh you. And God feels the same way because he's ready to pour into you. He want to refresh you. He know what he got coming for you is going to be good. But you get that cook out of this rack. It's clean on the outside. The design really make you want it because you're going to be like, ooh, my, my juice going to be good and the design on the cup. But when you pick that cup up, it got stains on the inside. You're not going to pour your juice or your drink or your latte into that cup. So think about God the same way we constantly ask God to pour into to us and we um steady the quote um um what is the it was just on my head but now I wanna tell you I can get Oh and you know my head with all my cup run it over. He can't run your cup over if your cup is dirty. And how is your cup dirty? Yeah you go to church every Sunday why so hard over these? Yeah, you go to church every Sunday. Yeah, you read your Bible. Yeah, you might know it back to back. Yeah, you do for the community. Yeah, you uh, you you preach, you spread God's word. Yeah, you help the needy. Yeah, you do this and this and that. But when you go home, you got hate in your whole school. So you get upset when you see God blessing somebody that you. You, you you live in this strife, you at home and you degrading your your kids, your wife, your husband, your your spouse, your you're just mean to everybody. You got hate in your heart, you don't like others to have nothing, you doing things just for a show. He not gonna pour into you. I don't know what you thought, but it's not gonna work. And he really not about to pour into somebody that's jealous of him pouring into somebody else. Because what makes him want to pour into you and be happy and people be happy for you and you can't be happy for the blessings that somebody else is getting. Like they say, you should be happy if you see him blessing your neighbor car the street with a new car. They let you know he in the neighborhood. He ain't forgot about you. But why would he want to give you something if you're acting like that towards somebody else blessing? You don't know what they did. And first of all, we be getting mad about stuff other people have. We don't know what they're doing to go to get this stuff that they got. Ooh, these are long. Yeah, look at how long these are on my left. I might try it for the trip, though. But I can always cut them down because the French is long enough for me to cut it down. I just like how deep it is right there. Yeah, so we're going to do the French. But, um, like I was saying, yeah, you, you, yeah, we, we be mad about what he do for other people. But how could we be mad? And we don't, we don't know what these people doing to get what they got. How you even know God gave it to them? And you out here man. So yeah. God can't pull into a dirty cook. So if I do my nails tonight, I will be back. If not, then I'll see y'all tomorrow. Because I probably gotta take my mama to the doctor tomorrow more than likely. So I will see y'all when I see y'all.
I'ma cut them down a little bit because I don't know. Probably just this little bit. Because mm. these are a little too long for my liking. So this is it, I had to get a bra and what? The other. Okay, I'm finished. What's your girlfriend need something in? You talk too much of trash is a shame. I don't buy nothing for no lady, she buy her own. Why you don't buy your lady no on the club? I'm gonna buy her something for her. Let her buy her own. I've been there with her all my life. I don't shop for nobody, I shop for me. Well, how you got a woman you don't buy her stuff? I'll give her some money, she go buy her shit. If you're my woman, you think I'm gonna come and try to buy you something? Yeah! I'm crazy in here. <laughs> <laughs> you like shit, you keep shit going. You a shit star. You real. Buy me that bag. She can give me another bag. I promise you give me nothing else. 
I could have got me a jewelry box out of here. Hmm. You said I keep what? I thought you wanted some coffee. I don't drink no coffee. You, you, I thought you asked for coffee. Then he said it in the car. I don't drink nobody coffee. I have enough of that when I was coming up. Yeah. Biscuits and coffee. I'm gonna take the biscuits and put it in the coffee and suck the coffee up. Suck the, suck the coffee out of the cup through the biscuit. Y'all ain't never did it. Is. Um, yes, ma'am. Can I get the? I want to get an order of spice and edamame. Spice and edamame. Mm -hmm. And I want to get the. Um, I can't remember which one it was, but it was the beef ramen. Kuniku ramen, I ate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen. And can I get an uh, extra egg? Okay. Okay, one, two, That you gonna try it with me? Okay. Oh, I wanna go to my shop and see. Hopefully, I got the camera with me. I don't know. Let the camera. He might be back here doing something. What time is that dog, boy? <laughs> That's why I catch him at two, Shakira. I'm a tan. They want to. They caught O on the back of the house. What is this little crybaby or something? I don't know. You know where you're living? I don't. Probably lock your jawbones up. I ain't never ate this. It's a, uh, what is that? It just said classic series. I can't get it to focus on this. I don't even say what candy is. Oh, we hard candy. Don't show. Yeah, you're not really trying to chew it. Let me tell you like that. Why are you all in my mouth? <laughs> I'm trying to see if you like it or not. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. What it tastes like? It's sweet. It's sweet. Like apple. I don't know what it's going to do, though. It's like apple or something. Mm -hmm. Sound like it tastes good. Lost stomach up hands out there. When, when you coming up that way? All right. Mm -hmm. I'll be there looking for you. Mm -hmm. We gonna rent a van and I'll look on go. Uh, I ain't driving no Detroit. So we gonna rent a van and I'll look on go in that van. I don't like that. Jay said he gonna fly. I ain't driving no car from the 14 hours. Yeah. We got another, I went to work today. I did. Target cupcake nasty. Yep. I prefer Walmart and mass. It ain't the ice and taste like. So what now? Wax. Oh, the cupcake I don't that. Enjoy yourself, man. I don't like the ice. Taste cheap. We gonna turn that tune down, ain't you? Shakira about hit a button, touch it down. <laughs> Tell your wife I said hello. Oh, you remember that, that day we were driving and it kept like it was it was driving and then it like it was like some of hills. Actually, she still. I had you. made a mistake and pressed some on this thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be that bad. That's your hair one. I don't feel like doing nothing. So that's why you be working that up in there? Yeah, in the back. He said you're doing the heater core on there. What I do with my hat? He gonna go in there cooking folks out? They gonna love me. We gonna have to go in there and get him. 
Your head that cold. Why the girl here that talk so much? <laughs> she don't know when to shut up. <laughs> I ain't getting out. I'm cold. Yeah, so I don't know if it was just the ones I got with, but I don't like. I like the bread, but I don't like the icing. The icing tastes like wet. Oh, you think it's because we ate that candy? Mm, I doubt it. Because the candy wasn't as sweet. <laughs> I ain't like the candy either. See, Lo got a napkin in there. Would you like a little chair? Like a little bit of meat. Yes. Oh, the king, John. I ain't on the wood or something. I like that about her. She's very intelligent. She's very smart. She a good girl. I love you. I you really think I love you. I love you. I do. I think about y'all all the time. That ain't no lie. I looked at him today. I said, damn, this amazing. This young man you know, took his whole dash out this truck and sat it down. I mean, don't get me wrong. I ain't into all that like that. People do stuff like that. They ain't know me. I like doing the basic simple stuff. Like I'm going to hold up some brakes or action. I'll show y'all my food. See my. I hope you make your content. Huh? I hope you make your content. I know, me too. I need. What are you going to be cooking today? Huh? No, they're going to just put me in their magazine. What are you going to be cooking? I don't know if I'm going to have to cook or not. I probably had to take some up there for when I win. But y'all y'all just supposed to vote for me every day. You be voting for me? Uh, uh, my sister's been putting the vote in. Do that count? Yeah. Who is your sister, Jean? Yeah. That's all she talk about. I got beef ramen. This the broth. And then I got spicy edamame. You want to taste my stuff? You don't eat stuff like this? No, that's red food. Red food? I like what your mom cooked yesterday. And your mom got them black eyed peas and peas and cornbread and that stuff in there and sweet potato. You gotta go buy that. I ate some of her food yesterday. I eat it all, I eat it up there and be gone. You outside? Where you in the real house? I'm at my mama's house. 
Pull in the other driveway because you're going to still be in the road. Yeah, come on, baby, what you got? Come on, I'll be gone. <laughs> All right. Okay, this ain't here. I don't think. class we just had to basically uh, sit through chest tube insertion because we um, been having a lot of gunshot victims and uh, she just want to make sure everybody know what we need for chest tubes and all of that sort I was the only one in my class because uh, but it was supposed to be an hour and it was only like 30 minutes so now I'm at the vet because I just had a couple questions because everything that's going on just seemed weird to me today. So I just want to make sure I have some clarity. And um, then hopefully they nail shall be open so I can just get my eyebrows and toes done up here. Because I'm not, I don't want to go to the Moppets then. I mean, I don't want to leave here then go to the Moppets and then have to go to my eyelash appointment. My eyelash appointment is an hour away. We still got two hanging out by three, but yeah. So I'm, I just want to come and introduce the vlog and say hi. And yeah, I will see y'all at the next shop.
I'm back at home. I still don't get my nails did. I mean, my eyebrow did because the place I went got my toe did it. The man said the people who do eyebrows are gonna be an hour. So I went to the other place across the street and they said they owe me at nine. I said that till like 9 20. No one ever showed up. I went by the way. Cause I gotta go back. I need to go back to sleep right now. Yeah, I think I wanna cut my nails down. I mean, they don't look bad, no. But I'm just not used to it, you know. I don't know. Try to be fancy with my truck, but hey. I gotta cut up. I'm hungry, I'm sleepy. So I'll probably better go to home. And eat something and take a nap. My last appointment not till 4 15, so I gotta leave home probably like 3 o'clock because it's an hour. And I guess I'll just find somebody down there to do my other eyebrow. Oh, oh y'all, why did I. I got home last night looking for the stuff that I bought from Target. Why did I scan the stuff, pay for it? put the receipt in the bag and left the bag at the self-checkout. I called last night and the lady was like, yes, it's, it, they, somebody brought it to customer service. Babe, then she was like, do you have a receipt? I was like, no, I put the receipt in the bag. She said, the bag you left? Yes, the bag I left. But she said she wrote my name on it and then I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. And I didn't want to go I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. It's just to check my iron because y'all know my iron stay low. I'm pretty sure it's low now, but I canceled. I'm going to cancel because ain't no way I'm getting up to be in Tuscaloosa at 745. I had to get up at 530, leave home at like 630. No, ma'am. But my friend got a dentist appointment at 1 tomorrow, so I'm just going to ride up there with her so I can sleep in a little later. But I'm going to reschedule my um, appointment for next week because I'm off for next week. Because this week was supposed to be my work week, but I had to take off for the trip. So next week going to be my off week. So I'll be off anyway. So I just, I'm going to go back to going to house to call and see if I can reschedule for then. But yeah, I will see y'all when I get back up. I'm trying to debate if I'm going to let this vlog be for today and tomorrow. <clears throat> I might let it be for today and tomorrow because and upload it Friday. Because I don't think, I don't know, why my camera keep unfocusing? But I don't know if, I don't want to be gone because you know normally y'all get a vlog on Sunday and Wednesday. But since I'm going to be gone, I don't want to take my laptop with me. And be editing on the trip, so. I might upload this one Thursday instead of Wednesday. But either way, if I upload Wednesday, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 